Hello, I'm Olivia, and today I'm going to be discussing an interpretive theory, which is relational dialectics of Leslie Baxter and Barbara Montgomery. So Leslie Baxter and Barbara Montgomery both studied um, and analyzed tensions within relationships. As they studied these relationships, they referred to all these tensions as relational dialectics, or the dynamic knot of contradictions in personal relationships. So the example of relational dialectics that they discuss in the book is a movie called Bend It Like Beckham. If you have not seen it before, this is a movie about a girl named Jess. Um, she loves to play soccer and she'll play pickup games in the neighborhood, um, but her parents want her to start finding a guy for marriage as that is a part of their culture. However, she joined a team, a soccer team, and made a friend named Jules. Um, so while on this team, she, um, became interested in their coach named Joe and they kind of started a relationship there and while this was happening Jules became jealous of that relationship. So all of these conversations happening between Jess and her parents, the conversation between Jess and Jules, and then the conversation between Jess and Joe all are contradicting each other and pulling her in different directions which is relational dialectics. So Montgomery and Baxter explain that how contradiction plays a key role in relational dialectics. Contradiction is a dynamic interplay between unified oppositions. This just refers to the opposing poles and tensions that are present. So as I said before, in Bennett Like Beckham, she was being pulled in different ways with those conversations. So Baxter highlights the importance that when using relational dialectics, this term does not refer to the cognitive dilemma that takes place for an individual, but rather refers to the contradictions um, in relationships that happens through communications. They both also highlight that these tensions aren't always a negative thing, but can also be a constructive thing. So in order to better understand relational dialectics, Baxter and Montgomery focus on three overarching relational dialectics, integration and separation, stability and change, and then expression and non-expression. They study these, study these tensions within two contexts, um, within a relationship or internal dialectic and then between a couple in a community or external dialectic. So integration and separation is a class of relational dialectics that includes connection and autonomy, inclusion and seclusion, and then intimacy and independence. So this dialectic refers to the tension between feeling close versus feeling different, distant. Baxter Montgomery suggests that within a relationship, within a relationship, no relationship will last unless each party sacrifices some individual autonomy, but too much connection will not allow a relationship to last either. They also explain that a couple and a community needs to include outsiders, but also make time for private togetherness. Next, Baxter Montgomery discussed ability and change. This is a class of relational dialectics that includes certainty and uncertainty, conventionality and uniqueness, and routine and novelty. This relational dialectic is the tension between being predictable versus being spontaneous. So within a relationship as humans, we like interpersonal um, certainty, but we also seek some mystery and spontaneity. Um, lastly, the third relational dialectic they discussed was expression versus non-expression, or the tension between revealing information versus keeping it a secret. This is a class of um, relational dialectics that includes openness and closeness, revelation and concealment, and then transparency and privacy. So Montgomery and Baxter, um, Montgomery and Baxter just highlight that within relationships, there's often pressure for openness and closeness with um, between individuals and their relationship, and then couples also often face the revelation and concealment dilemma of what to tell others about their relationship. So that is all I have for you today, and I wish you the best of luck on your test.